What was it about Jackie, do you think, that just sort of set her apart? Everybody seemed to just sort of look at Jackie as the one. There was nobody like Jackie. Nobody talked like Jackie. Nobody looked like Jackie. Nobody acted like Jackie. And nobody understood better her place in the world than Jackie. She's an American icon, a portrait of grace and glamour. I just think that everything in the White House should be the best. A socialite whose classic style defined an era. People seem so interested in whatever the first family likes. After marrying into a famous family, becoming a beloved first lady to President John F. Kennedy. Thank you all for having been so kind to us while we're here. And later, a steadfast mother to Caroline and John F. Kennedy Jr. There have been any number of books written about Jackie Kennedy. What more is there to say? Well, that was my biggest concern when I wrote this book. What more is there to say? And then I realized that the Kennedys loom so large in Jackie's story. Uh, and every book that's been published, what has been unexplored are her relationships with her own family. Behind Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis's signature sunglasses was a woman who harbored deep secrets, secrets many of which are revealed by J. Randy Tarborelli in his new biography, Jackie, Public, Private, Secret. The title is pretty striking. What do you imply there? In 1989, she had a conversation with John Warnicke, who was the architect who designed JFK's gravesite. And she said to him, oh, Jack, I have three lives public, private, and secret. And the secret life was the life that only very few people understood and knew of. I met Randy at New York's Grand Central Station's iconic Oyster Bar. The only press conference Jackie ever gave in the 1970s was right here in the Oyster Bar. And it was about the preservation of Grand Central Station. I think uh, if we don't care about our past, we can't have very much hope for our future. Few people have studied Jackie Kennedy as much as you have. When I met Jackie Onassis, what really struck me about her was how accessible she was and how easy she was to talk to. She had such faith that you were not going to betray her by returning her to any dark moment in her life. Something has happened in the motorcade group. There's numerous people running up the hill. Her darkest moment, November 22nd, 1963, a traumatized first lady cradling her stricken husband. President Kennedy has been assassinated. Many of us remember that famous image of her with the pillbox hat and the blood covered outfit after her husband was assassinated right next to her. Jackie did not want to take the outfit off. She wore it for many, many, many hours after, and the stockings were covered with blood, and there was blood on the, on, on the pink dress and on the jacket. It was because that's what she had left of Jack. I think that the trauma of PTSD colored everything in her life. She felt like the least she could do was mourn him forever. One of the book's most interesting revelations, that her future husband, Aristotle Onassis, showed up uninvited in Washington, D.C. during the time of JFK's funeral. He came in town to pay his respects, and she said, well, look, you, that hotel you're staying at is awful. You know, come to the White House. She stuck him in a sitting room, and it was just a couch and a small black and white television. So here you had the richest man in the world, Aristotle Onassis sort of relegated to the servants' quarters. What are the odds that she would wind up marrying this guy? Believe it or not, she lived in a great lifestyle, but she didn't have any money. Jackie married Onassis not because she was crazy in love, but because she needed a lifestyle that she had become accustomed to. She was living sort of a fraudulent life. She had it all, but it wasn't hers. Jackie's younger sister, Lee, grew up in her shadow. Their mother, Janet, a complicated figure in their lives. Um, why was their relationship so fraught? She's quoted a lot from a, a bunch of interviews where she says, my daughter is more angry at me a lot for the way that I raised them. But she's quoted in the book as saying, I refuse to raise weak daughters. Cut to the Cuban Missile Crisis, the night that JFK gave his address to the country. And Janet and Jackie and Lee were together at the White House that night. And they just wondered how they had ever gotten to this place in their lives. 
where they were in the White House, you know, where Jackie was the first lady. You know, so as much as they had this contention between them and as much as it was difficult between them, there was also something really lovely mm. about their relationship. You know, Jackie once said that no one knows what goes on in a family but the people in it. And I think that's really true. Her relationship with Lee was fraught as well. You write about Jackie and Lee and these two sisters who were at odds a lot and even were often intrigued by the same men. How can you even understand the bond of, 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 of sisters? Lee dated JFK first, and it was their mother's decision that he should be with Jackie because Jackie was older and Janet decided Jackie needed to get settled. The casket carrying Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis leaves her apartment on Fifth Avenue to be taken to the church here in New York City. In 1994, at age 64, Jackie Kennedy Onassis lost her battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, her family at her side in her Fifth Avenue Manhattan apartment. You knew Jackie. You've written about her before. How do you think she would view this book? One of the things that Jackie once said to me was, what good is a biography if it doesn't have any secrets? And how interesting is that coming from a woman who had more secrets than anybody? And I think that on some level, she's looking down and she's like, all right, he did it. He did it exactly the way I would have wanted it done by somebody. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.